Welcome back everyone to Wiener Worldwide. I'm Frank Furter and today we're going to venture into the world of sausages. We still got the Nathan shirt here and now we got the Nathan's hat too to double down our efforts to get that sponsorship. Today we're going to be looking at the Polish Boy. This sausage sandwich comes from Cleveland, Ohio. It's topped with barbecue sauce, french fries, and coleslaw. This barbecue favorite is coming your way next and without further ado, let's take a look at this sausage. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to need to do is make our dressing. For this dressing, I'm gonna put the recipe on the bottom right-hand corner, but we're gonna combine one tablespoon of distilled white vinegar, some salt and pepper, two tablespoons of white sugar, a half a cup of mayo, and the juice of half a lemon. This dressing is pretty basic, but feel free to get creative and add whatever you'd like to it. I like the lemon in my coleslaw because it gives it a nice tangy and zesty flavor. To continue prepping our coleslaw, we're going to need one head of cabbage. Make sure to get the biggest cabbage you can find in the store for no apparent reason. I'm just going to chop off what I need from this head of cabbage. I shouldn't need this whole thing. At least I hope not. Alright, I'm just going to chop this up into little bite-sized pieces, which should fit perfectly right on top of the sausage. Alright, this should be pretty good to go. The mixing of the coleslaw is pretty self-explanatory. Just grab your cabbage, put it into a medium-sized mixing bowl, pour your dressing over top, and just mix the whole thing together. Once you're done mixing, refrigerate the mixture for up to an hour, or overnight if you really want to make those flavors pop. Alright, this guy's ready to go in the fridge. Alright, now let's get on to making our barbecue sauce. I want to go with a tangier and sweeter barbecue sauce, which I think is really going to mix well with the smokiness of our sausage. To make that, I'm going to grab one cup of brown sugar, one cup of ketchup, make sure to get it all over your bowl, it helps the flavor. A half a cup of water, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of mustard powder, a little pinch of salt and pepper, a couple dashes of your favorite hot sauce, and a squeeze of lemon. The lemon's really going to help with that tang flavor, and the hot sauce is pretty traditional with a Polish boy. So give that guy a good mixing, and then bring it over to a medium-sized saucepan, pour it over, and then bring that whole guy to a simmer to help thicken it. Make sure to keep it on a low simmer. You don't want to burn the sauce here. I simmered my barbecue sauce for about 5-6 to six minutes or until it was able to coat the back of a spoon. Alright, now it's time to make some french fries. Wait for your potato to stop spinning and then chop it into bite-sized wedges. Feel free to cut your french fries into whatever size you like. I'm going to go with wedges because I think that's going to work really well with the sausage sandwich. You can deep fry your potatoes if you like, but I think today I'm going to be a little healthier and I'm going to use my air fryer and I'm going to air fry them at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. Now let's talk about our sausage. I'm going to use kielbasa. It hails from Poland and it has an outstanding smoky flavor. Because the sausage has already been smoked, it's actually cooked all the way, so all we need to do is heat it up. In a small saute pan, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil and swish it all the way around. And then I'm going to deposit our kielbasa right on top of that oil, and that's going to give it a nice brown golden crust. I'm going to cook this for about 5 minutes on one side and then 3 minutes on the other. So while this guy's cooking, why don't we go over a little bit about the history and the origins of the Polish boy. Little is known about the actual history of how this sausage roll came to be, but there is one origin story that claims to be the beginning of the Polish boy. According to Cleavescene.com, the Polish boy was invented in the 1940s in the neighborhood of Mount Pleasant in the city of Cleveland, Ohio. Barbecue restaurant owner Virgil Whitmore created the Polish boy using smoked sausage and other ingredients he had on hand, which was coleslaw, french fries, and barbecue sauce. Members of the Whitmore family eventually branched out and started opening their own barbecue restaurants all around Cleveland, with Virgil Whitmore's grandson still operating a barbecue restaurant in Mount Pleasant to this day. Other restaurants in Cleveland began serving the Polish boy on their own. In 1963, Hot Sauce Williams opened up and started serving a variation with pork shoulder on it, which was known as a Polish girl. Regardless of how the Polish boy came to be, Cleveland is very proud to call it its home. The Polish boy to this day still continues to wow people all over the world. Now I'm going to go check on my kielbasa and finally eat this thing. Once I came back to my kielbasa, I gave it a flip and cooked it for an additional 3 minutes until it got a nice golden crust all around it. Now I'm going to let this guy cool off and then we can begin our assembly. 
Finally, after all your hard work, it's time to finally assemble the Polish boy. Get all your ingredients together and let's begin. I'm gonna cut the bread down the middle and I'm gonna add our kibasi right in the middle of that. And first I'm gonna go with my French fries and I'm gonna put the coleslaw right on top of that. Be generous too, you deserve it. Next, I'm gonna start spooning my barbecue sauce. Ah, you know what? I'm actually gonna pour my barbecue sauce. We really deserve it. A few dashes of hot sauce on top, and then there it is. I present to you the Cleveland specialty, the Polish boy. Now let's plate this guy up. All right, guys, that's going to do it for another episode of We Know Worldwide. Today, we made the Polish boy. If you enjoyed this video and you like learning about the history of the Polish boy, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment any suggestions you have for future episodes. We have our social media in the description below, and you can follow us there. Again, thanks for all your support, and until next time, enjoy. There's like so many flavors and it's so good. <laughs>